everyone, it's Madison Stewart from Real Estate High School, and I'm here with another 210 Tech Tip. Today, I will be showing you how to create a Google Form. So the first thing you will do is you will start in your drive, and you will click on New. Then you will scroll down to More, and click on Google Forms. And what it will take you to is a page like this, and you will title your form just as you would title your Google document if you were to do one of those. Then you will go down to Form Settings and choose whatever settings you would like for you to do and then you will title your form here as well. And then you will work on your questions. You can title your questions whatever you would like for your question to be and then you can have helping text that basically just is a subtitle underneath your question and then you can choose your question type. If you want a text, paragraph text, multiple choice, check boxes, or anything else. Then you will have your questions and you will just fill out whatever question you would like for that to be. Down here, you can click on the box whether you want it to be a required question, or you can also click on advanced settings. Once you're done with your question, you will click on done. Then, if you want to add another item, you will add one, and you can do it just as well. Alrighty, so, if you want to edit your questions, you can just go back and click edit right here. Or you can duplicate it to basically create another, another copy, or you can delete your question. Okay, so here's one that I already did, and basically what else you can do is you can change your theme, and you can click on theme, and then you'll click on customize, and you can click on header image, title, description, question, or any of the other ones as well. Once you have created your form and people have had their responses, you can click on view responses or view live form. View live form is basically, it just lets you view like what it will look like, and it'll show you something like this. View responses will show you what people have responded as as well. Um, you can also click on responses and go on summary of responses and that will give you a bar graph or something else. I'm Madison Stewart with another 210 Tech Tip.